Hello, I'm Dr. Scott Persons, and welcome to Ask a Paleontologist. This question comes to us from an anonymous patron of my local bookstore, Audrey's Books, here in Edmonton. And they write, where were the first dinosaur bones found? And that's not an easy question to answer. That's because there are places all over the world where dinosaur bones sit exposed on the surface, and you don't have to be a professional paleontologist to find them. So even in ancient times, people were stumbling across dinosaur bones, but they didn't know what they were finding. You can imagine how puzzled, maybe even scared, people were when they ran across giant dinosaur fossils. Oftentimes, these ancient discoveries were attributed to the bones of a giant or other mythological animal. For instance, I've worked with some Chinese folklore historians that have determined that as far back as 4th century BC, dinosaur footprints were being found. Some of these were the huge round tracks of long-necked dinosaurs. Those were interpreted as the footprints from some kind of giant horse. Others were the three-toed, bulging tracks of hadrosaurs or duckbill dinosaurs, which were thought to be the form of a lotus blossom magically carved into the stone. And some were the narrow-toed tracks of theropods, large carnivorous dinosaurs. Those were thought to be the footprints of a phoenix or other giant bird. But we can also ask the question, what were the first dinosaur bones discovered by scientists and determined to belong to a dinosaur? And that honor goes to a fellow named William Buckland, who, in 1824, discovered and described fossils like this. This is a section of jaw and some of the teeth from what he described as Megalosaurus. And Megalosaurus, we now know, is a kind of Jurassic carnivorous dinosaur. Buckland saw these specimens and thought to himself, these teeth sit in sockets a lot like the teeth of a modern crocodile. He also noticed that the form of the teeth was very, very similar to animals like this. This is the skull of a Komodo dragon, a modern-day giant lizard. And just like a Komodo dragon's teeth, Buckland's dinosaur teeth had serrations running down the front and the back. Serrations are tiny bumps that make the edges of the teeth really good at cutting through flesh. He also noticed that these carnivorous lizards have got teeth with a backwards curve to them, just like his dinosaur. Well, a few years later, another English scientist named Sir Richard Owen noted that Megalosaurus, along with some other dinosaurs that had been found later on, belonged to a single natural group, which he called dinosaurs, meaning terrible lizard. But it is worth noting that both William Buckland and Sir Richard Owen believe that their dinosaurs were very reptile-like. Today, we know that dinosaurs like Megalosaurus are much more closely related to modern-day birds. And in fact, birds are descended from dinosaurs. So, in a sense, those ancient Chinese who discovered the fossil footprints of what they thought were phoenix or giant birds were a lot closer to the truth. All right, thanks for the question. And if you've got a question for me, give me a comment below or say hello on Twitter.